Following in the footsteps of its namesake, the John Paul II Junior College, which is located on Chapel Hill in beautiful Benque Viejo del Carmen, stands majestically as a beacon of hope in our beautiful Western Belize. This noble institution engages students in a profound dialogue with the greatest thinkers in the history of Western civilization with a view to form the entire human being. So the focus of the rural arts is, is learning for learning's sake. In other words, it's not so much that you learn to get a job, although you will get a job, we all need jobs, but um, that it, it forms the person first and foremost. And so to know like your, the, the, your history, to know your identity, um, to know how to think, not what to think, but how to think, like how to think properly. So we teach philosophy and, um, and then to know the purpose of life, we teach theology, um, we teach Latin, which surprisingly the students really love. In fact, a couple of students were just saying that was their favorite, favorite class. Um, and it's, it's, it's interesting to hear people talk about Latin that are, that are really into, into that, um, to understand, I guess, the, the, the benefits of knowing Latin, um, how it kind of helps shape our mind to, to think logically, and, and it's not just just learning to another language, but there's so much more involved in there. And, and because it's also the foundation and the basis for so many of the languages today, the Romance languages and the languages we use in the West. Um, the, so the, the idea in the giver was there was one person who kind of handed, that, handed down, you know, the background and the history of the community and, and that person was so essential. And I, I kind of see John Paul II as, as that, you know, being the one to kind of um, hand down the, the, the background and the, and the history and the, and the, um, the reasons behind some of, some of the things that we do that we might not know the reasons for. Indeed, students that attend John Paul engage in the formation of identity while entering into a deeper understanding of the world around them. And the environment in which they get to do this is one that architecturally embodies the vision. Wanted, we decided because it's liberal arts, we wanted the, the architecture and the building itself and the whole campus to somehow reflect um, what we're teaching in the classroom. And so we wanted it to be, you know, sort of massive and foundational and beautiful and, and all those things because that's what the liberal arts is. It's something foundational for society. It's something beautiful. Um, and also another reason is I think um, that we wanted the the beauty especially to be present um, and the dignity because of the, the students um, and the teachers, but that they, we as Christians believe that, you know, there's, um, God is, we are made in God's image and likeness and so that image and likeness is reflected in the human person and so um, that we're royalty, you know, and so that there would be that sort of statement in the, in the even the, in the architecture, so people could come to a deeper understanding of their own dignity as, as human beings, and that would be reflected in the architecture in some way. As one very unique school year closes and another one begins, John Paul II Junior College extends a very special invitation to high school graduates who are interested in strengthening their own foundation on which their entire lives will be built. If you would like to find out more about the programs at John Paul II Junior College, feel free to visit them on Chapel Hill Road in Benque Viejo or give them a call at 823-2896.